Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla's Tom Zhu takes over North America sales, service and deliveries. Tesla Semi outperforms rivals in specification analysis. Tesla announces record 405,000 vehicles delivered in Q4 2022. And Tesla to present the Generation 3 platform at Investor Day in March 2023. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla's global vice president and CEO of the Greater China region, Tom Zhu, took over responsibilities for sales, service, and deliveries in North America, Electrek reported, citing sources familiar with the matter. The publication noted that Zhu's title remains vice president in charge of Asia-Pacific, but he's been added to the North American sales service and delivery organization chart. Zhu, a veteran at Tesla, who began his career with the electric vehicle maker in 2014, oversaw Gigafactory Shanghai from its construction to operations. Zhu's leadership has seen Tesla grow in China from the building of Gigafactory Shanghai to it becoming a large export hub. He's helped the company build up its supercharger network, and earlier reports from China revealed that he was tasked to oversee Tesla's Asia-Pacific operations. Tesla saw its 1 millionth Made in China EV roll out of the plant in August, just after Teslarati reported on a massive shipment of vehicles Tesla China was preparing to ship. In October, Tesla delivered 71,704 vehicles in China, which was a bit lower than the record it set in September, with 83,135 deliveries. In November, shipments from Tesla China topped 100,000 vehicles. In December, Zhu was reportedly at Tesla's Gigafactory in Texas, with an engineering team from China to help oversee the ramp of Tesla's newest Gigafactory. Reuters reported that Zhu traveled with a team including Song Gang, Tesla's Shanghai Gigafactory manager, to Tesla plants in California and Texas. Information shared by Chinese provider Kachacha revealed that Zhu was no longer the legal representative of Tesla Shanghai, but was still the chairman of the company. Wang Hao, the general manager of Tesla China, filled the position. Ping West, a Chinese tech publication, claimed that Zhu would be the successor of Elon Musk's position as CEO, citing unnamed sources. Although that report was widely circulated, it should be noted that Ping West was found guilty of spreading fake news about Tesla in China. The publication had to admit its guilt publicly and pay monetary retribution. Whether or not Elon Musk plans to make Zhu his replacement remains to be seen. However, a Tesla board member testified that the CEO identified someone as a potential successor during the last few months. During an interview with Financial Times in May, Elon Musk said that he would stay at Tesla as long as he can be useful. Moving to the next update, Tesla Semi outperforms rivals in specification analysis. The Tesla Semi outperforms both diesel and electric truck competition, according to a new specification analysis. While many consumers have been wary of electric vehicle technology, particularly in the United States, this concern has come to a head following the release of the Tesla Semi. As Semi trucks are responsible for a significant amount of the goods getting to where they need to be, it is understandable that people would obviously like the best and most reliable. Luckily, analysis has been completed by Next Big Future, showing that the Tesla Semi bests the competition in countless categories. The analysis done by Next Big Thing considers nine factors when comparing the Tesla Semi to its competition, including the Nikola Tree, the Peterbilt 579 EV, the Volvo Vruni, and numerous others. The nine factors include price, range, payload, federal discount, state discounts, efficiency, power, max GCW, and charge time. Perhaps most notably, the Tesla Semi outshines its competition in charging time, price, and max range. When looking at the competition as a business choice, the obvious choice is clear. The Tesla Semi not only travels further on a charge, but it will do so while also charging multiple times, faster than the closest competition, all while being powerful enough to complete normal semi loads, allowing for the best possible business case for both independent truckers and organizations. 
To be fair to operators, due to the lack of charging infrastructure for Tesla Semis, many correctly point out that it would be a hard sell for many drivers. But for those who travel a consistent route with access to charging, the Semi might be exactly what you are looking for. The other major hurdle, as pointed out by Next Big Future, is price. Even with the Tesla Semi cutting the price of the competition, almost in half in some cases, it is still tens of thousands of dollars more expensive than diesel offerings, which can easily be gotten between $130,000 to $160,000. And while operators have been assured by Tesla's Semi reveal event that they will not only save on fuel, but also repair, such a steep upfront cost is still a challenge that must be addressed. Overall, the analysis shows just how much of a jump in technology the Tesla Semi has been, and perhaps it can motivate other automakers to continue to improve and introduce new products. As it stands, if a trucker were looking at an electric truck, the choice is clear, and without continued investment into the space from other brands, it's hard to see that changing anytime soon. Moving to the next update, Tesla announces record 405,000 vehicles delivered in Q4 2022. Tesla announced that it delivered over 405,000 vehicles in Q4 2022. That sets a new record and means over 1.3 million EVs were delivered in 2022. With the production ramp at Gigafactory Texas and Berlin, as well as continued improvements at Fremont Factory and Gigafactory Shanghai, it was undeniable that Tesla was going to have more vehicles than ever to deliver in Q4 2022. However, there were some concerns about deliveries, as Tesla appeared to be facing some demand problems and started to offer a lot of discounts in December. Wall Street analyst expectations ranged from 400,000 to 430,000 vehicles. Recently, Tesla released the official numbers for Q4 2022. The automaker confirmed it delivered over 405,000 vehicles and produced over 439,000 vehicles during the quarter. Tesla again blamed the discrepancy between vehicles produced and delivered on trying to smoothen the end-of-quarter delivery waves. The results little on the lower end of expectations. But it's a new record, however, and Tesla undoubtedly has the capacity to produce more long-range electric vehicles than any other automaker. Moving to the last update, Tesla to present the Generation 3 platform at Investor Day in March 2023. Tesla's new car platform will be more cost-effective and require half the effort to produce it. The Generation 3 platform will be presented at Investor Day in March 2023, says the company. Tesla customers, investors, and fans have been waiting for some time for the company to introduce a new car model that will be cheaper than the current ones. Obviously, this will be a new platform, different from the one on which Model 3 and Model Y are built. Recently, Tesla announced that it will hold an investor day on March 1, 2023, where it will share interesting updates. Among other things, the company is going to discuss the Generation 3 platform with its investors, which is an extremely long-awaited talk. During the Q3 2022 earnings call, Tesla was asked about potential next-generation vehicle developments. Particular emphasis was placed on reducing the cost of the new platform. So when moving from the Model S and X platform to the Model 3 and Y platform, the cost of production fell sharply. This took the company to a whole new level, as cars became accessible to a large number of consumers and was the beginning of a truly massive market transition to electric vehicles. Now, investors await the next transition. In October, Tesla executives said that the transition to a new platform will take place when it becomes possible to reduce the overall cost of production, not only financial, but also effort costs. The company expects that in the time it takes to produce one Model 3, it will be able to produce two vehicles on the new platform. This, in turn, will also mean that production will use half the factory floor space of what is currently in use. The new platform will certainly be smaller than Model 3 and Y, and the new generation vehicle will be produced in quantities that will surpass the production of the entire current line of Tesla vehicles combined. 
for its production, Tesla will tap into all the knowledge and experience gained during the design and production of Model S, X, 3, Y, Cybertruck, and Semi. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.